This is a free PC, and at 13 years old, this thing is not what you would call a gaming machine, but I have a plan. You see, Windows is one of the least performant operating systems out of all of them. So today, I'm gonna try to install SteamOS on this 13-year-old hardware and see if it works any better. Okay, because I'm sure someone pointed out this is actually Bazite, which is not SteamOS, but it's very similar. So let's just get this. Uh, I actually have no idea which one it is. This is an RX 550, but I can't figure out whether it's supposed to be legacy or regular. Okay, based on the release dates, I'm guessing it counts as modern here. Let's go with KDE, and do I want Steam Gaming Mode? I don't know, do I want Steam Gaming Mode? Looks like that is intended for handheld, so no. And now, download Bazite. Okay, it was a lot faster to download on my laptop, so that's what I'm doing. It's downloaded, and now I gotta copy it to my Ventoy USB drive, which will probably also take a while. With that done, Let's plug in the USB drive and see what happens. Now I'm not 100% sure how to boot from this thing or how to get to the boot menu because I kind of forgot. Okay, looks like escape boot menu. Okay, that's a bad sign. Oh, loading boot menu. Nice. Uh, flash drive, Ventoy. There we go, Baza. And let's do that. Absolutely nothing's happening. Well, maybe I'll just, I'll just let it cook for a little bit. Aha, uh -huh. this is progress. And it got smaller, even better. Starting the installer. Okay. Let's go. We're testing Bazite, and we're actually also installing it. Continue. All right, yeah, this should be pretty easy from now on, to be honest. Installation destination. Yeah, we don't need the old Windows installation anyway. And now we begin installation. I gotta say, this is going surprisingly better than I thought. Okay, I'm slightly concerned that it hasn't moved off the screen at all. So let's, let's retry that. Uh-oh, I left the whole thing. Dude. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to happen. You know what they say, second time's a charm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I messed up the partitions or something. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I guess we're just gonna delete everything. All right, here we go, for real this time. This time, I'm not stopping it early, probably. It's done, so now we just reboot and see what happens. Preparing system. That's a good sign though. Uh, it just went back to this. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it didn't just like reset everything. All right, this is new. Oh, I think we're in. Okay, let's try Steam. All right, we're in Steam. The question is what game to try. CS2 it is. I'll also grab Minecraft just to see if the performance changed at all. I keep trying to open this thing, Bazaar, to install Modrinth, but for some reason it just doesn't work. I guess I'll just check if I can do any updates. By the way, what is Lutris? Does it just like combine all your games into one thing or what? Yo, what is happening? I literally tried to install Minecraft on Lutris because I wasn't sure what else to do. And it's just, it's just turned purple. I feel like there's a slight problem here. Uh, we're on a different color now. I'm so lost. I really thought everything was working there. I don't know what happened. Guess I'm just gonna try and restart it. We're back. Let's hope it works this time. This is what it did before, and then it closes. Okay, yeah, see, I, I just don't get that. Okay, new plan. We're gonna install it on Flat Hub. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Yeah, I should've done this like half an hour ago. Okay, new problem. So it launches fine, and then as soon as I try to click on something, Oh, wait, not that. As soon as I try to click on this, it freezes, and then I can't do anything. I really have no idea if this is Linux's fault or what is happening here, but something is happening, and it's a problem. All right, I got it working by just avoiding clicking on the mod pack screen, and now it's downloading from this screen instead. But now it's not downloading Minecraft. What is happening? You know, when I started this video, I wasn't thinking the hardest part would be downloading game. Hey, it's working. Let's go. Okay, looks like it's finally downloaded, so now we test Minecraft on Linux. I also have to sign in, though. I didn't think about that. And now the question, will the performance be the same, worse, well it better not be worse, or better than on Windows? Hopefully better. Okay, let's just make a new world. I gotta say, the menus already feel a little bit quicker than Windows. Good sign. Now I'm gonna let it cook for a couple seconds here, but okay. You know what? Oh wow, that's so much better. Wait, what? Hold on. That's actually an insane difference. It's not like the Windows one was not smooth when standing still, but this one, like, even when loading chunks, is getting 60 FPS. Yeah, Windows just got crushed, man. Okay, well, that's a bunch of points to Bazite already, but I guess we should still try CS2, because why not? Counter-Strike 2 has been installed. Now all we gotta do is test it, and honestly, I'm expecting, like, not horribly terrible results. Okay, I'm gonna assume it doesn't mean anything that it switched back to play and just press play again. Like, it didn't crash, right? I'm gonna try a different Proton version. Maybe that'll fix it. I assume it's using Proton, I actually have no idea. Yeah, it just did the same thing again. This is probably a problem. Let's turn to the all-knowing Google. I guess we're verifying it now. Everything's been verified, and now we actually have to try it again. Please work this time, actually, like, please. 
I just updated it and I'm pretty sure it's working right now because it's running the install script apparently and it's processing the shaders. Hopefully. Okay, this is taking a while. All right, so at this point, it's actually the next day, but I'm pretty sure it finished processing the shaders last night, so now we gotta try it out. No way it has another update. I literally just updated it. All right, here we go. We're hitting play. It better not redo the shader thing because I, that took so long last time. It's still doing the shader thing. A CPU that supports the SSD 4.2 processor feature is required. Yeah, that's not happening. It's over. Basically, my CPU is like a year too old for this. I don't know how often games need this, but I feel like most of them don't, right? Well, if we can't get CS2, we can at least get CSGO, if I can remember how to do that, because there's definitely some sort of, like, launch option or beta you're supposed to do. Oh, CSGO Legacy, here we go. So, wait, can I just play that now? Do I not have to install it or anything? Um, it doesn't have CSGO, so I guess it's downloading this. Now, at this point, you may have noticed that it is several hours later and CSGO is still not installed. And that's because what I haven't shown you so far is the terrible, terrible job of getting the internet working on here. This thing's Wi-Fi caps out at like 1 megabyte per second for some reason, so instead I'm sharing the Wi-Fi connection from my laptop over Ethernet, which is a strategy that happens to stop working every so often. So in the past like two hours, I've had to deal with like four different attempts to make this thing work again. However, as far as I can tell, it's now downloaded CSGO and we can test it out. So, I mean, let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Play a legacy version, that's what we want. Okay, seriously, dude. Fatal error. Failed to connect with local Steam client process. Please make sure you're running the latest version of the Steam client and launch the game from Steam. What do you think I just did? And of course, it's up to date. Let's just go for a good old restart here. Looks like the network stopped working again. That's fun. Second time's a charm. Okay, it did an update, and I feel like we could be getting somewhere with this. Nope. Hi, friends. This video will show you how to fix fatal error. Fail to connect with local Steam client process. All right, this is the good stuff. All right, we got to log out and back in. Okay, I'm trying it with a different Proton version now because that is something that has worked sort of maybe in the past. Just so we're clear, this is basically taking the whole second half of my day. All right, whatever attempt number this is, is the charm. It's this one. This one's gonna work. All right, I am not waiting for the shaders this time. I It took long enough before. Yeah, no, okay, I'm actually done with this. Like, I'm actually so done. So if you have a PC lying around, should you do this? I would say probably not, especially if it's as old as that one, because apparently nothing works. Did want to end this video positively, so here's the PC running Untitled Goose Game, because that works when nothing else does. And, uh, yeah, that's the video. Quick note, I think Bazite is generally better than this, but the fact that it's a 13-year-old PC does not help.